All right, YouTube, we're continuing the series on how to restore a hand plane. And as you can see before me, we have all the stuff we need for electrolysis. We have a bucket uh, full of water, it's a five gallon plastic bucket. We have a battery charger. This one's a 10 amp. Now for doing electrolysis, you want to have at least six amps of power. We have a piece of rebar here that's going to be our anode. See right there. Our arm and hammer, super washing soda, and of course our hand flame body, which we'll be cleaning. Of course, you can use this for all different kinds of other tools and other things, just in hand planes. It's pretty useful, as long as you have a container to fit everything in. All right, so it's pretty easy. You want to have your bucket filled up enough so that way it completely covers the tool that you're going to be cleaning. It doesn't have to completely cover your uh, anode which is your scrap piece of metal right here, this rebar. It's kind of rusty, but that's all right. So, to start, we're going to grab our super washing soda. We're just going to pour some in. Now, the amount isn't super critical, but you want about one to two tablespoons per gallon. This is probably about four gallons, so... I'm going to mix in a good bit. It does help to keep the flap on the box pushed back. A little more yet. Alright, that ought to be good. I'm just going to take our piece of rebar here, our anode, and just kind of make sure that's all stirred around in there. Alright, there we go. So we have that done. Alright. So the next part in this thing to do, we're going to take our tool, and we're going to clip it to the negative end of our battery charger. Now it's very important that you put it on the negative side. So clip this on the end here. All right, so black goes to the tool or whatever it is you want to get clean. Remember that. If you were to put the red side on, your tool would, uh, uh, would take the rust off this piece of rebar instead, and the rebar would get nicer. Okay? Now the rebar, we're going to attach to the red lead on our battery charger. And then what we're going to do now, well actually I'll put the uh, hand plane in first and then we'll attach the rebar. So I'm just going to put that in the water. And you want the thing so it's completely submerged. So you may need to move your uh, battery end around so that way it fits in the tank. That's done. Now another important thing is you do not want your anode, your scrap piece of metal, to touch your tool in the tank. They have to be separate. Uh, if, if they do touch, it'll short out your battery charger and it'll probably ruin it and it could cause a fire or you know other bad things to happen. So to prevent that, we're going to put our rebar right here in next to it. Hopefully you can see that. And to ensure that it doesn't move around, we're just going to take a quick clamp here. And we're going to put that on there. That makes that a lot steadier. 
Now we'll take our battery charger here. I'm just going to set this up on the workbench. Right. We're going to connect our red side here, our positive, to our piece of rebar. You can see that. And we're going to plug in our battery charger here to the outlet. We're going to set this to that. And leave it on manual there. Now, the process is, it takes a couple minutes for it to get started. Uh, but when it does start, you'll start to see bubbles coming out, which is uh, hydrogen gas from the uh, chemical reaction. And that'll, that'll it'll look kind of like, almost like soda carbonation. And that'll happen three, five minutes in. So. When, that, when I did that, I wanted to make sure, you know, it's unplugged. Of course. Alright, so we're going to let that sit for a couple hours. The nice thing about this is it's a self-limiting process, so when there's no more rust to be taken off the uh, hand plane, it'll just stop by itself. All right, so we'll see you next time in the workshop here. Uh, the next video, we'll talk about refinishing the wooden handles. So stay tuned.